This video is sponsored by Keeps. So today we're making Captain America's shield. I actually teased this in my last video saying that I wanted to make one that actually bounces and flies back to you, just like in the movies. And y'all really like that idea, so that's what we're gonna do. First though, drop me a little comment for what project I should make next time. Also, we're gonna step it up with this one. So yeah, please like and subscribe if you do end up enjoying this. So if we look at the footage right away, we see this ain't no ordinary shield. It's like it's got several abilities that make it seem to defy physics. That thing does not obey the laws of physics at all. Okay. First, the most believable ability is the shield's super strength. It's like its main function. It can withstand any, well, almost any attack. <laughs> It's made of vibranium, which is a super high-tech metal that absorbs kinetic energy, so I can get behind the super strength. But the thing that bugs the physicist inside me is the shield's mysterious ability to always bounce perfectly. Like, just look at these shots. How is this possible without some other piece of tech we're not seeing, uh, either that or Captain America is just a geometry whiz that can calculate the perfect shot instantly all in a split second. Well, whatever though, it's a movie. And the point is, it looks damn cool. Like he's absolutely dunking on these fools. Like imagine just getting hit with the 360 no scope backflip McTwist. How do you come back from that? So the last thing I'll point out is the way the shield latches to his arm. Uh, it looks like it's just a leather strap that he slides his arm through, but I mean, it's just too slick for that. Like later on, he does get this device that brings the shield back to his arm. So we'll have to build that too. So those are the abilities we need to make. I think the strength part is pretty straightforward. We just have to make it out of some strong material. I think the arm returns like stick parts also not gonna be that hard, but the really tricky part it's gonna be getting the shield to bounce back. So I think we'll start there. And because I already teased this, a lot of you commented how you thought I was gonna make this. So I thought it'd be fun to double down and actually ask you guys on Instagram how you thought I was gonna do this. Also definitely go follow me there, at Video because we're actually giving away the shield we make in this video. This is like the first project where it's not gonna be a huge liability to give something away like this. So if you wanna win this, just like this video and subscribe, and just follow me on Instagram and like the latest picture and we'll pick a winner. Speaking of that, congrats to PulseCore, the last video's winner. You just want a DJI drone. So y'all sent thousands of responses, and yes, I read through every single one of them. And these were the most popular. First up, a drone. Hundreds of you said this, and some of you guys were throwing some shade too. At this point, we're just attaching drones to stuff. Everything you Please use is not a drone. Don't nowadays. do drones. Guys, I put drones in like three videos, come on. Whatever, I guess I won't use a drone in this video. Fight! Here's a drone shield. Eat shit. Wise words, Michael. Yeah, it's exactly right. It's a foam shield with a drone inside. Nah, but you guys are kind of right though. This is sort of the lazy way out. Plus Alan Pan already made something like this. Apparently it's okay for him to use a drone. Also, speaking of Alan, turns out he's been throwing some shade in his last video. Jay Laser video, I'm gonna be honest, I haven't been a fan of this guy. So it's like a glove, but it like folds up into a watch. There's no real oomph there. It just it makes a little fireball. I mean, I'm not gonna say that this sucks. If you found this on the street and you picked it up. I don't think you'd be like, oh wow, a real repulsor. I think you'd be like, Oh wow, some kid made a glove out of tinfoil that can set itself on fire. Jake Laser, for this, I give you a one out of 10 for effort. One out of 10? All right, Alan, I'm gonna remember that. Oh, by the end of this video, we'll see who has the last laugh. Ha 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 ha. Anyways, I also got a lot of string or rubber band comments. So here's what that would look like. Got our shield attached to an elastic band. <laughs> Pretty simple, but uh, not the coolest thing. We also got boomerang quite a bit, which I'll admit I did consider. Dogecoin right here. <laughs> to the moon! Damn, bro. What the hell? Dude, that was... That's crazy, dude. Catch it, catch it. But it would be very hard to make work. Like, here's why. So boomerangs are basically two airplane wings stuck together. The reason it comes back is because as the boomerang spins, the top wing spins faster than the bottom, generating more lift. This causes torque, making the boomerang turn and fly back to you. But cap shield doesn't have a place for like a wing plane because it's a round disc. So unless we cut a bunch of holes and kind of like angle them and try and like build in a wing that way, it just ain't coming back. Plus then we'd have a shield with a bunch of holes in it. And you know, why would, would anyone, anyone ever build ever something build like something. that? Zing! Also some other honorable mentions. Use a golden retriever. It's actually not a bad idea. Just have like a little dog sidekick. Uh, and this person just said bees. So yeah, we'll get right on that. Also y'all been DMing me some pretty cool projects you've made. So let's check those out. Yo, 
y'all got some talent. Uh, yeah, so definitely DM me anything cool you've made and we can put them in videos. All right, I'll admit it. Using a drone did cross my mind. But I don't think we need any sort of fancy drones, electronics, or sci-fi tech to make this work. Just some simple physics. So if we think about what's actually going on with the shield, they say it's made of vibranium. And as the movie says, vibranium stores kinetic energy, which makes it great for resisting impacts. But I bet when he's throwing the shield, all that stored energy actually goes back into the shield causing it to bounce. Kind of like the world's best Super Bowl. So the reason Super Bowls bounce so well is exactly that. They store the kinetic energy of the impact as potential energy through elastic deformation. You can see as the ball hits the ground, it squishes down. And because rubber has a very high elastic limit, it can still return to its original shape, turning that stored potential energy back into kinetic energy and bouncing back. Thank you very much, uh, class dismissed. So the elastic limit shown here on this stress strain graph is very important for this project. It shows us the relationship between the amount of stress we can put on a material Material and still have it spring back. Like take this dowel for an example. If we put a bit of stress on it, you can see it bends, but it still bounces back. But if we put too much stress on it, it crosses that elastic limit and goes into the plastic region where it doesn't spring back. So a vibranium stress strain would probably look something like this, able to take almost infinite amount of stress and still stay in that elastic region. So to make a real cap shield, we need a material like this with a high elastic limit to make it bounce. But that's only half the battle right there. The other half is making it fly. Because in case you hadn't noticed, Super Bowls don't. I mean, you could throw it really hard, but it just doesn't have any mechanism for helping it stay in the air. That's where this guy comes in. Like Cap Shield is basically a Frisbee, which I think is what Marvel is going for. And Frisbees are basically just wings. They have a curved edge that allows air to flow faster over the top and slower underneath. This higher pressure underneath pushes up on the frisbee, giving it some lift as it flies through the air. The other key aspect is its rotation. Uh, like when you put rotation on anything, it gives it some gyroscopic force, which stabilizes it. But I don't know if you've ever tried to bounce a frisbee off a wall like Captain America. Yeah, it just doesn't work. So we need to find a way to combine the frisbee's flying ability with the Super Bowl's bounce. So if we look at a frisbee's impact in slow motion, as soon as it hits the wall, the impact slows the rotation and creates oscillations through the frisbee that throws off its orientation, messes up the flight path, and it drops. So the trick is gonna be making the frisbee deform like the Super Bowl and still spring back to its original shape without any weird oscillations that mess up its flight, while also keeping that rotation to stabilize it after it bounces. So I looked at a bunch of different materials with high elastic limits. They'll hopefully give us a spring effect we need. Thinking some sort of like metal springs maybe, but uh, I think they might just be a little too heavy because remember if the shield's too heavy, it won't fly well. Rubber could also work, uh, but I'm worried it'll deform too much. So I eventually settled on fiberglass. It's lightweight, has a high elastic limit without deforming too much. So if we make a fiberglass ring, it should act kind of like a two-dimensional super ball. The issue then is covering the ring with a material that won't warp like a regular Frisbee. Another thing I'm worried about is the impact stopping the rotation, because we need to keep that spin for it to fly back to us. I thought maybe we could have the fiberglass ring around the outside with like a freely spinning inside section, and maybe even have a tiny motor that spins a flywheel or something to maintain that rotation. In the end though, I thought it might be better just to start simple. I decided to make a prototype by just stretching some thin plastic over a thin fiberglass glass ring. The edge is pretty thin so hopefully it won't lose too much rotation as it hits the wall and the plastic should be thin enough and flexible enough to reduce the oscillations. But again that's all in theory so let's see if this actually works. All right well I guess here goes nothing. Oh my god! I caught it! Look at that! Captain America! Yo. That's so many in a row. How is that possible? It's so weird it works like that. I mean, it's still not a shield. You still need to figure out how to make it solid in the middle, but like the proof of concept is there. It's actually kind of amazing how fun this thing is. We actually whipped up a few more prototypes and it's just crazy some of the shots you can get. It's, it doesn't seem physically possible. You should be able to bounce it like this. Uh, I honestly think this would make a fantastic toy. Oh, think of the trick shots. Everyone tag dude perfect in this. Like you can finally play Frisbee with yourself. It's like a Frisbee for the lonely. Uh, but like actually though, comment if you would be interested in getting this. Obviously a more refined version. Um, I'll actually put a sign up link on my website for anyone who's interested in getting one. I'll probably send out some prototypes so you can actually help test them. This will be so fun. We can like design it together. Ooh, what should we call this? Spring ring? Yeah, drop any cool name ideas, and I'm gonna go get a patent for this. All right, though, we're getting ahead of ourselves. The shield is still far from finished, and I'd be shocked if we don't run into any more problems. So I hopped online again and tried to find some bigger fiberglass hoops. And as it turns out, they actually sell two-foot fiberglass fishing hoops, which is like a perfect size for a shield. So after a lovely conversation with the Southern fisherman, 
we got the hoops in hand. So then I tried the same method of just putting some plastic over the top and gave it a rip. Ah. And it doesn't work. I think it's just a little bit too heavy to be honest, maybe a bit too stiff. So I brought it back into the shop and cut the fiberglass ring so it'd be half as thick. Now we have a thinner hoop, so I put the plastic back on and gave it another rip. 2.0 disc, let's see how this works. Ho 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 ho! And wouldn't you know, it works again. Yes. Uh, but it's still just a ring with a trash bag over the top. Like, that ain't no cap shield. Definitely gotta toughen this thing up, especially if we're gonna be like whipping it at walls over and over again. So now it's the battle of strength versus weight. We want it to be as strong as possible, but we can't make it too heavy or it won't fly well. So I settled on some carbon fiber for the body, because it's just about as lightweight and strong as you can get. Fortunately though, I couldn't find any carbon fiber shields online, so we're gonna have to make our own. So for that we need some carbon fiber cloth, some resin, and a mold. Hmm. We need something that's like shield shaped. The landlord would mind. No, I shouldn't, I shouldn't, we shouldn't do that. So I eventually got this road mirror, uh, which should make the perfect mold. So I laid down the fabric, added the resin, waited overnight, and uh, yeah, I think for a first attempt, it came out all right. There are a couple imperfections, but super lightweight and also very strong. Now, the tricky part is gonna be connecting the carbon fiber to the fiberglass ring. I tried some thin Kevlar cord to kind of suspend the carbon fiber in the middle, and let's see what happens. Ah. Well, we broke it again. At this point, I wasn't sure if it was like the geometry of the shield being curved that was causing it to just take a nosedive after every impact. So after looking over the slow-mo, I think the same thing's happening that happened to the regular Frisbees from earlier. Like the impact is causing vibrations through the shield that throws off its flight. The carbon fiber being so stiff, it's just amplifying that warping. We don't want this shield to be soft, so we need a way to isolate that center carbon fiber piece from the outside ring. We need like shock absorbers, something between the ring and the inner part. So I connected it with rubber bands and gave it another shot. And this was more promising actually. So to refine it even further, I switched to some latex rubber stretched around the ring. Uh, this works even better. It kind of looks like the world's biggest subwoofer. But there's still one issue we haven't addressed and that's a wear and tear. Like every time we throw it against the wall, it rips slightly. Also, the inner carbon fiber piece kind of cuts into the rubber. Every impact doesn't matter much for the first few prototypes. I feel like we can't have this thing break in if we're in some serious combat. Um, so I doubled up the rubber and added more carbon fiber on the outside to protect against impacts and like scuffs. And the last thing to do was throw some paint on it. And I think it came out all right. Like there's definitely some imperfections. So I kind of leaned to the whole battle worn look and added some more scratches. Like it's not bad, but you know, we're not settling for not bad. So I'm gonna do it all over again and make another better, cleaner version. First though, we should probably figure out how we're gonna attach it to our wrist. So I thought about using this thing. It's an electric grabber and it fucking sucks, literally. Like I've actually used them to climb walls before in another video. So I think if we mod it, fit it to our wrist, it'll suction to the shield whenever we put it on. So I started designing this, but it just felt too complicated for this project. It's got batteries, motors, and switches. Like the project's already so simple. Like why do we gotta complicate it further? The obvious better solution is magnets. The reason I didn't use magnets in the first place is because well, it's not magnetic. And adding metal would add more weight. But it turns out this thing is so light already, we don't actually need that strong of magnets to hold it in place. Uh, plus the Hacksmith already made the crazy strong magnet version. But we should be able to use some regular old neodymium magnets. If we put two on the shield, it won't add that much weight. And then we can add like a larger stack to our wrist thing. So I 3D modeled and printed out the wrist mounts. I made a better, cleaner looking shield and stuck some magnets to the backside of that. I actually ended up sticking some fake carbon fiber over the real carbon fiber. Uh, which definitely felt wrong, but it came out looking all right, so I don't mind. So, that about does it. shields remember we're giving one away on instagram so go follow us there but we still gotta look like captain america for that we gotta hit the gym get the right outfit and have a nice head of hair the first two we can control but unfortunately two out of three guys do experience some form of male pattern baldness by the time they're 35. thought it from the bottom now we're here so if we want to keep that captain america cut keeps is here to help and the best way to prevent hair loss is doing something while you still have hair don't end up like him. It works out for me, I have a very nice shaped head. <laughs> no, he does have a nice shaped head. It can take four to six months to see results, so act fast and the more hair you'll save. Too late for you, man, I'm sorry. We just... <laughs> Get out of here. Please! I still have... This is sad. Does this look nice? This is... It's it. too late for you. Please! <laughs> sorry you had to see that. It breaks my heart every time.
<laughs> and best of all, you can do this from your own house. Uh, it's a subscription service where a licensed doctor will review all your information and send you everything right to your door. And it's affordable too, since Keeps hooks you up with that generic FDA approved hair treatment medication. So if you're ready to take action, keep that superhero haircut, check out keeps.com slash video. Link below and get 50% off your first order. That's keeps.com slash video. All right, the real question though, will this actually work? I have a feeling we're not gonna be great at this to start, but here's basically how it works. You just kind of throw it at a wall, try and catch it. Just like that, right cool. back on the arm. Oh god. Yeah, isn't that sick? Oh my god, that looks good. Do like really thick training montage. It's like the perfect weight for the magnets so that it like releases right at the end if you twist your arm so you can actually throw it kind of like he does in the movies. There it is. This is tiring. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. No, I'm good. Just keep, gonna keep going. I can do this all day. I can do this all day. Jackass. Hit me. <laughs> Not the oh. Got uh, upstairs. <laughs> That's real nice. So well. Oh, oh. my. Oh, nice. nice. Oh. Oh. Turns out it actually works pretty well. I just think it's so cool how you can do those multi wall bounces, like just like in the movies. Like I don't think you would get much closer to how it actually would work. Also because it's carbon fiber, it's pretty tough too. Well, not quite bulletproof, but it'll stop like throwing knives. Oh. Bottles too. Let's rip some trick shots that are only possible with this bouncing mechanism. I call this one the blind wall bounce super smasher. Because the target's behind the wall, the only way to hit it is with the bounce. Nice. nice. This next one, the triple wall bounce. Oh. Oh. Oh my God. <laughs> the hell? So there's one more thing we gotta take care of. And that's Alan Pan. Like anyone can talk shit online. Let's see him say that to my face and this shield in person. All right, I got a tip. He's up here. Probably looking through the trash for his next project. Oh! Yo, Alan, this feel like one out of 10 to you? Yeah, it does. You, Jay. <laughs> Weak hit, Alan. <laughs> Not as weak as your channel, Jake Lake. <laughs> you thirsty? You, you know what? You can keep it. You think I want this? We always cover our ass. Okay, you know what? It's pretty cool. So there it is, guys. Remember to follow me on Instagram to win this shield. Thank you guys very much for watching, and we'll catch you in the next one.